Uh, the topic for today, uh, good afternoon all. The topic for today's uh, seminar is intellectual disability overview. First, regarding definition, then epidemiology, comparative nosology, etiopathogenesis, comorbidities, dimensions of clinical evaluation, then regarding management, and lastly, regarding disability assessment, government policies, and programs. Definition Intellectual disability is a developmental disorder associated with significant limitations in intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior which is defined as performance of behaviors required for social and personal sufficiency. In the international context, uh, American, American Psychiatric uh, Association we, uh, you, uh, adopts definition of intellectual disability from the American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Dis Disabilities, abbreviated as AAIDD. Accordingly, American Psychiatric Association 2013 has replaced the word mental retardation uh, and uh, to intellectual disability in their diagnostic and statistical manual fifth edition currently in the present world uh, it is uh, the condition is widely referred to as intellectual disability and also intellectual developmental disorder which we will be discussing later and moving on to indian context in indian context after the uh, rights of persons with disabilities act 2016 the act introduced the term intellectual disability in the place of mental retardation however india being a signatory uh, a country uh, to the world health organization where the icd10 guidelines are adopted the term mental retardation also is still in uh, clinical use but in icd11 they have used replaced the term uh, uh, intellectual disability to intellectual developmental disorders which we will be discussing later moving on to epidemiology <coughs> uh, the prevalence is 2.5 percentage of the glo global population point prevalence of intellectual disability in india is 0.1 to 3.2 percent and in case of males, they are diagnosed with ID 30 percentage more than females and in the milder range only. But the difference seems to disappear when the ID is more severe. We have to note that global developmental delay, delay is uh, defined as a significant delay in two or more of the following developmental domain like gross or fine motor, speech or language, social or personal, cognition and activities of daily living. And it is this global development delay which uh, uh, works as a predictive uh, factor for future development of ID so it works as a surrogate marker in children between the age group of three months and five years. We're going to compare with nosology DSM-5 the term used is intellectual disability the condition is if defined as the one which is having the onset during developmental period uh, which is having deficits uh, in intellectual and adaptive functioning and the deficits will be mainly in the conceptual social and practical domain and the severity is only based on this defective deficits only in the adaptive functioning in conceptual social and practical domain and intellectual functioning uh, the there will be deficits in the components including reasoning problem solving planning abstract thinking judgment uh, academic learning and learning from experience and on standard testing on intelligence the score of 65 to 75 is taken as the range from which we will be defining the uh, uh, diagnosis and adaptive behavior in dsm-5 uh, uh, intellectual disability uh, to diagnose there should be a failure to meet developmental and social cultural standards of personal independence and social responsibility and there should be a deficits occurring in communication social participation independent living across multiple environments environments such as home school work and community and the development period which they define dsm-5 is 18 years in case of in icd-10 the term used as mental retardation they are defined as a condition of arrested or incomplete development of mind characterized by impairment in cognitive language motor and social abilities and the components including as we have already told cognition language and motor and social skills and iq of 70 is taken as a cutoff with four, four severity level they have defined basically based only on the intelligent quotient adaptive behavior they they didn't uh, clearly define in uh, icd-10 and regarding development pe uh, period also they, they didn't uh, explicitly de define the development period but understood to consider it as 18 years of age moving on to icd-11 they have defined the uh, disorder as disorders of intellectual development uh, originating during the development period significantly below an average intellectual functioning they will be considering an average uh, for intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior they have taken it as approximately two or more standard deviations below the mean based on appropriately normed individual individually administered standardized tests and where standardized tests are not available diagnosis of disorders of intellectual development uh, uh, are requires they request clinical uh, judgment for mild it is defined as two to three standard deviation below the mean moderate three to four standard deviation below the mean severe four severe and prof profound are defined as four or more standard deviation below the mean we have to note that the severe and profound is only differentiated mainly exclusively on the basis of the adaptive behavior differences which we will be discussing later 
Regarding the comparison between mild intellectual disability and moderate intellectual disability, mild constitute 85 percentage, whereas the and that, that is the most prevalent intellectual disability severity, uh, whereas moderate only constitute 10 percentage. Mild will be appearing similar to the unaffected individual, they will blend into the general population the years before and after formal schooling, but in moderate intellectual disability, they, they are typically diagnosed in their preschool years. Mild, they will achieve academic skills uh, at uh, sixth grade or higher and some might uh, graduate from high school also but in case of moderate intellectual disability their academic uh, skills will be only at a sec uh, the range of second to third grade level in mild intellectual disability they many of them holds job marry and raise families at times they may appear slow or need extra negotiating uh, extra help negotiating life's problem and tasks but in case of moderate intellectual disability they require special uh, they require special education services and need for supportive services continue they require these services throughout their lifespan and with but with proper support many will live work and thrive in their local communities uh, considering the etiologies number of persons with genetic people with genetic syndromes function in the mild range of intellectual disability. Examples include most people with Prader-Willi syndrome and as well as some males diagnosed with fragile X and most of the females diagnosed with fragile X syndrome. In case of moderate intellectual disability, the most common uh, chromosomal cause of intellectual disability that is Down syndrome function in moderate intellectual disability severity and also many cases of functional uh, fragile X syndrome, mainly females will be uh, mainly uh, males will be uh, functioning in the moderate intellectual disability uh, severity. Regarding severe and profound, severe constitute 3 to 4 percentage, whereas profound constitute only, that is a very rare entity, constitute only 1 to 2 percent of the intellectual disability. Both of the uh, uh, two severity will have defined, clearly cut, uh, 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 defined organic causes for the, uh, for the eti as etiology. In severe eti uh, intellectual disability, there will be concurrent motor and neurological uh, problems and poorly developed com communication uh, skills will be there. But in case of profound intellectual disability, there will be impairments in sensory motor functioning which will be seen early from the childhood and there will be presence of pervasive development in cognitive motor and communication functioning. And in case of severe intellectual disability, they require very close supervision and specialized care throughout their lives and with this uh, support, some only some population will be uh, uh, learning to perform simple tasks or routine that facilitate even their self-care or the ability to perform in uh, uh, work in sheltered work or free workshop type of setting but in case of profound uh, uh, intellectual disability to even com uh, complete the most rudimentary aspects of self-care like eating and toilet they need extensive training and total supervision throughout their life is warranted. Regarding the neurocognitive profile uh, according to ICD-10 regarding acquisition and comprehension, comprehension of uh, complex language concepts and academic skills in mild there will be some deficit but most will be able to uh, base, uh, manage master ma basic self-care domestic and practical activities but in moderate there will be clear cut deficit in language and capacity for acquisition uh, but the, uh, the acquisition of academic skills will be limited to their basic skills but in severe they, the language will be very limited and, the, um, and there will be a, a very limited acquisition of academic skills and profound many will be uh, the speech will not be uh, uh, that must develop in profound so it will be very uh, very limited uh, 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 considering the communication abilities and uh, and basic concrete skills only they will fail to uh, acquire uh, considering the academic skills in case of profound intellectual disability in case of motor and sensory impairment uh, in severe there will be presence of motor in mo profound there will be motor as well as sensory involvement assistance as we have already required uh, as we have already discussed required considerable and consistent support in case of moderate uh, daily support and supervised in environment for to achieve basic self-care skills with intensive training for severe and for uh, even the uh, basic very basic rudimentary uh, skills like eating and toileting they require help in case of profound usual course of intellectual disability in mild they will be having good speech and they will be able to work with semi-skilled work in moderate the speech level will be getting decreased and they will be only having domestic speech and also unskilled work with or without supervision they will be able to do in severe they they require assistance in their self help and also very minimal speech uh, they will be having and they will also require assistance in the household course in profound the speech may or may not be there may not may not be have developed and self their rudimentary work like toileting and uh, eating everything needs uh, assistance in case of profound moving on to etiopathogenesis etiology broadly uh, broadly classified into prenatal natal uh, prenatal, perinatal and postnatal. Under prenatal comes chromosomal disorders including Down syndrome, Kleinfelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, Tridouchard syndrome, Prader-Willi 
Angelman, uh, Angelman syndrome, Williams syndrome, and in single gene disorders comes inborn errors of metabolism, including galactosemia, phenylketonuria, mucopolysaccharidosis, Tay Sachs disease, Leishner Hand syndrome, and hypothyroidism, neurocutaneous disorders, including tuberous sclerosis and neurofibromatosis, brain malformation, such as autosomal recessive primary, microcephaly, hydrocephalus, and other single gene disorders, including fragile X. Red syndrome, Lauren Moon Barrett Beetle syndrome, Smith Lemley Opitz syndrome, Coffin Lowry syndrome, and other conditions of uncertain genetic origin, including Robinstein Tabby syndrome and D. Lange syndrome, and imprinting uh, disorders, including Prader Willi and uh, Angelman syndrome. And adverse maternal and environmental influences are also other etiologies, including deficiencies, including iron deficiency and folate deficiency, severe malnutrition pregnancy. Uh, substance abuse including alcohol, nicotine, cocaine during early pregnancy, exposure to other harmful chemicals including pollutants, heavy metals, arbortifacients, teratogenic medications such as thalidomide, phenytoin and warfarin sodium in early pregnancy. Metal infection, maternal infections including rubella, syphilis, toxoplasmosis, cytomegalovirus, herpes and HIV are other etiologies. Other etiologies include excessive exposure to RH uh, uh, exposure to radiation and RH isoimmunization. Perinatal etiologies include can be classified into third trimester labor and neonatal third trimester insults including complications of pregnancy including eclampsia maternal disease like cardiac renal and diabetes placental dysfunction deprivation deprivation of supply labor including uh, severe prematurity very very low birth weight hypoxic hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy which occurs in birth asphyxia difficult and other complicated delivery in birth trauma or other etiologies neonatal including septicemia severe jaundice and hypoglycemia Postnatal causes including infections, brain infections including tuberculosis, Japanese encephalitis, brain meningeal encephalitis, head injury, chronic lead exposure, severe and prolonged malnutrition, gross un and from the parenting, gross under stimulation and experiential uh, deprivation also other causes. Now moving on to phenotype of common cause of ID in India. First, the, uh, regarding the first picture in the first row, topmost row towards the left side, it is Down syndrome. Key features in, there are more, the, more than 80 uh, clinical features uh, ha have been uh, defined for uh, I've been defined for Down syndrome, but uh, uh, most uh, uh, important features including typical features include typical facies, short stature, medial slanting of eyes, clinodactyly, simian crease, and cup shaped ears, fragile legs that is the topmost picture towards the right, that is the patient will be having elongated triangular face, protruding at prominent ears, macroarchidism uh, in post pubertal boys. In case of Red syndrome, uh, it occurs mostly in girls and normal development occurs till one uh, around one years of age and followed by plateauing and regression. There will be loss of hand function and also clear cut hand stereotypies will be present in red syndrome. D. Lange syndrome that is towards the, in the second row towards the left side, uh, the left extreme picture. The patient uh, will be having bushy eyebrows, synorphous which is a unification of two eyebrows, long eyelashes, hirsutism and microcephaly will be there. Prada Willi, that is the middlemost picture in the lower row, there will be obesity and hypogenitalism. In tuberous sclerosis, there will be uh, characteristic features include sebace sebaceous adenomas, adenoma sebaceum, ash leaf macules, ma ma uh, ash, ash leaf spots, uh, chagrin patches, and seizures. Uh, and mucopolysaccharidosis, uh, that is a picture towards the right extreme in the lowest row, uh, includes characteristics. Characters include typical facies, coarse skin, skeletal anomalies, anomalies, and macrocephaly. Congenital hypothyroidism characteristics include lethargy, growth failure, coarse and dry skin, constipation, feeding problems, uh, protuberant abdomen, and bradycardia. In the second, uh, next slide. Phenyl, uh, the picture is that of phenylketonuria. Here we can appreciate light colored hairs and also they will be having abnormal smell of urine, microcephaly and seizures. In case of homocystinuria, morphinoid habitus will be there. Or autosomal recessive microcephaly, there will be severe congenital microcephaly with only mild to moderate. Uh, they will function mild to moderate range. There will be no other anomalies in case of this diagnosis. And toward the, uh, the right, uh, the picture uh, uh, to the right actually is that of Rubinstein Tabby disease, uh, Tabby syndrome. Here there will be prominent beak shaped nose which is very evident in the picture and also broad thumb and hallux uh, is also is a uh, phenotype. Moving on to so the most common inherited cause of intellectual disability that is fragile X syndrome. Uh, the fragile X gene that is FMRN, FM R1 in that gene there of course amplification of a trinucleotide uh, uh, CGG there uh, it will be uh, going on repeating that is amplification will be occurring greater than a certain threshold number of these triplets that is considered as 22 if it is greater than 200 only uh, it is considered as pathological there will be wide range of learning and behavioral problems males are more and severely affected than females and fully affected individual will not be having FMR protein in their uh, in their body in affected females 
uh, uh, only one X chromosome since the disease is uh, dealing with X uh, chromosome in affected females only one X, chro X chromosome carries fMR1 gene whereas the other produces some fMR protein. We have to note that in all uh, females they will be having one chromosome that is randomly inactivated in all cells. So for the degree of involvement in females with fragile X is related to the ratio of normally active X chromosome to the total active plus inactive X chromosome. So because of which half of the fully affected females will be having mild will function in mild to moderate intellectual disability while the other half will have average act, at, uh, average intellectual uh, uh, quotient but they will also will be showing difficulties uh, in their learning abilities and also social and affective impairment they will be having. Neurocognitive profile of full syndrome include deficits in attention, auditory short term memory and processing of sequential information. And regarding fragile X syndrome and autism, previously it was considered as uh, autism was uh, uh, used to contribute majority of the cases. But now according to latest studies, only 5 percentage of the uh, uh, males with uh, full, fully affected males with uh, fragile X will be having autism spectrum disorders. And majority of the affected males will be only having features such as you have a spectrum of uh, social anxiety, shyness, avoidance and gaze avoidance. Boys will be having slow to warm temperament styles including shyness or social withdrawal but in considering more, both genders they will be having hyperactivity, hyper arousal and attention deficit. Adult uh, women uh, who will be showing with milder uh, uh, severity of this disease they, they will also be having problems in attending and sustaining uh, which will include deficit in math, planning and abstract uh, reasoning. Next regarding prader willi syndrome. Mild, uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, individual will be function, in functioning in mild level of intellectual disability. 70% of the uh, cases is due to a paternally derived deletion on the long arm of chromosome 15. The remaining cases uh, it is due to maternal uniparental disomy of chrom chromosome 15. So in these both cases there will be a deficit from the paternal side. So that is the reason for the prader willi syndrome. In, babies will be affecting, uh, showing hypotonia and prolonged feeding and sucking difficulties. Uh, but children from 2 to 6 years of age will be uh, showing hyperphasia, food seeking behavior such as food for raising and hoarding. And food preoccupation will be lifelong and these uh, individuals will invariably become obese and complication of obesity uh, is considered as the leading cause of death in this syndrome. Non-food obsessions and compulsive behaviors are common in, uh, are very common in uh, prader willi syndrome which includes skin picking, hoarding, needing to tell, ask or say something, having concern with symmetry, exactness, ordering, arranging, cleanliness, same sameness in daily routines and symptoms, all these symptoms will be associated with distress or impairment also and there is the, a marked, marked risk of obsessive compulsive disorder in this patient and high rates of temper tantrums, aggression, stubbornness, underactivity, excessive daytime, sleepiness and emotional ability is characteristic of the condition and because of all these conditions, uh, prader willi uh, syndrome uh, uh, have need more restrictive levels of care. Neurocognitive levels include in case of deletion if it is a, uh, a reason they will be having low verbal IQ but more frequent severe problem behavior they will be having but in the same individual they will be having strength in their visuospatial skills and they will be remarkably uh, prader willi syndrome with deletion they will be remarkably skilled in solving puzzles and as we have already told increased risk for OCD, uh, impulsive control disorders and affective disorders are there for the condition. Moving on to Down syndrome which is the most common chromosomal abnormality leading to intellectual disability that occurs non-disjunction of chromosome 21. Greater than 80 clinical features uh, characterize the condition. Features include cognitive impairment, hypotonia, facial dysmorphism, congenital heart disease and other anomalies. Uh, considering other etiologies for intellectual disabilities, they suffer less often and less seriously from psychopathology. Language impairment but will be extensive. Difficulty in expressive language, grammar and pronunciation will be there. But uh, communication scores will be lagging behind the measures of daily living and socialization. Commonly noted other problems include um, impulsivity, hyperactivity, aggression and also difficulties with attention. And also we have to note that there will be a shift towards increased withdrawn behavior which will be gradual and subtle in this uh, individuals. And this uh, marks an early, uh, this is a marker for the early onset of depression or dementia in the adult years for Down syndrome. Moving on to medical disorders and uh, disabilities associated with intellectual disability which includes seizure disorders, cerebral palsy, visual impairment, hearing impairment, congenital heart disease, cleft lip and cleft palate, orthopedic handicaps including congenital talipus echinovirus, congenital dislocation of hip joint, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, recurrent infections, feeding skills disorder. Common psychiatric uh, disorders in children with ID which include ADHD, 
ODD conduct disorder restricted home situation pervasive developmental disorder uh, stereotype movement disorder anxiety and depressive disorders disorders of sleeping and feeding and non syndromal conditions including restlessness self injurious behaviors aggression stereotypy impulsivity and pica there occurs two phenomenon in case of diagnosed psychiatric disorder that is diagnostic masking and diagnostic overshadowing diagnostic masking is a manifestation that is manifestation of the disorders are modified or masked by the presence of id especially in case of most severe forms of id that is the uh, that is called as diagnostic masking and and many of the uh, clinicians will be narrowing the focus only on the disruptive behavior and implement only symptomatic treatment thereby neglecting to evaluate the global picture in case of diagnostic overshadowing the what occurs is there will be a tendency to write off symptoms as mere as merely of id and not psychiatric disorder and this will lead to under diagnosis of psychiatric symptoms moving on to dimensions of clinical evaluations in intellectual disability detailed history thorough physical examination psychological testing physical investigation and comprehensive diagnosis regarding uh, history taking regarding the chief complaint we should check for the duration and eval evaluation of current problems family history with three generation genetic diagram family history of intellectual disability epilepsy other developmental disorder problems early death uh, uh, etc the family background current living arrangements details stress coping and adaptation by family and case of personal history pre peri and postnatal details developmental milestones and developmental course of the course or trajectory regarding onset or delay dates of acquisition of key milestones delay in all areas or not severity of delay school history and menstrual history is important medical history of seizures feeding problems recurrent infections psychiatric history regarding the details of onset evaluation current state of behavioral and other psychopathological disturbances treatment history uh, past efforts by the family in seeking help needs and response to past treatment and current medication and case of current developmental attainments uh, uh, mainly in the motor cognitive language and social areas parent and also regarding the parents estimation of mental age of the child and also the major congenital minor congenital anomalies which also should be looking for for facial experiences typical facies long and triangular and likewise for height weight head circumference shape of skull from height to toe examination we should do and we should this is the physical examination of the patient is very important okay. moving on to the investigation uh, the urine should be screened for metabo abnormal metabolites in case of phenylketonuria homocysteinuria galactosemia and mucopolysaccharidosis thyroid function test in case of when we are suspecting hypothyroidism advanced meta metabolic tests also can be in case of that is spectroscopies can be used in case of wide range of neurometabolic disorders enzyme studies in tay sachs uh karyotype in case of down syndrome or other uh, chromosomal disorder fish uh, in case of prader willi williams syndrome and molecular genetics in case of red syndrome and fragile x syndrome brain image in case of tuberous sclerosis and lesencephaly and case of eeg in case of uh, epileptic form epileptic encephalopathy is like west syndrome hearing evaluation in case of sensory neural hearing in, uh, impairment visual evaluation in case of wilson's disease cataract optic atrophy cortical blindness or refractive error blood group of the child and parents in case of rhi so immunization and immunological test in case of torch infections neuroimaging is indicated for individuals with intellectual disability only in cases of microcephaly or micro macrocephaly abnormal health cir uh, head circumference seizures if there is history of seizures there is history of focal neurological signs and if there is progressive cognitive impairment or loss of psychomotor skills mri is considered as generally superior to ct unless acute hemorrhage or calcification is suspected non specific findings uh, which we will get include ventricomegaly ventriculomegaly dysplasia of the corpus callosum minor abnormalities of white matter signal and cortical gyration electroencephalography is indicated if there is history of seizures and those with severe language deficit and other specific genetic syndrome including angelman syndrome often requested in patients with known cortical malformation associated with high seizure risk only when acute behavioral or cognitive changes have occurred moving on to psychological testing the uses include in clarifying the diagnosis for mapping out the child's assets and liabilities so individualized training program can be formulated and the third reason is for estimating the iq of the child for which is required for administrative reasons such as certification commonly used tests in india include seguin uh, spelling mistake is there seguin form board test vyland social maturity scale uh, binet kamath test malin's intelligence scale for ch indian children uh, vashley's intelligence scale for children batia's bat batia battery and and in the adaptation of bailey scale for infants is also available it's called as dc darcy uh, regarding the iq assessment considering the preschool children first one is regard uh, is segment form board test which is revalidated by vengadation uh, so vengadation in 1998 it is reliable for 3 to 11 year old but valid for all age groups of people with id it is a performance test and it serves as a quick measure of general intelligence
and here the mental age is assessed by calculating the shortest time taken for after three trials or by calculating the total time taken at the mental age is seen from the table for scoring and formula used here is IQ is equal to mental age by chronolo chronological age into 100 whole divide whole uh, multiplied by 100. Next uh, scale for preschool children include violent social maturity scale expanded by Varadraj in 1992. It can be used for 0 to 15 years. It is a culturally considered as a culturally appropriate adaptive behavioral scale. It gives a comprehensive profile of adaptive behavior of the child. Score is given as social quotient. And next uh, scale for preschool children include progressive matrices. Uh, that is colored progressive matrices is used for preschool children that is from 3 to 10 years. It is a cultural free test of intelligence which is a performance test and score is given as PQ. Next, regarding the developmental assessment, which is also uh, can be used uh, for 1 month to 72 months of age, that is, Jessel developmental scale can be used for 1 month to 72 months. Four developmental areas are assessed, and score is given as developmental quotient. For school age children, Binet Kama test is used, uh, uh, which is uh, this scale is reappraised by Venkatation uh, in 2002. The age group is 3 years, uh, actually, it is considered 3 years to 22, but actually, 3 years to adulthood also. The pay, uh, 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 we'll use in India. Uh, people will use and the age scale is. The, this is a predominantly verbal skill, but both have, will be both will be having verbal and performance items. So high, IQ is here calculated as MA by uh, mental age by chronological age into 100. Next, progressive matrices that is not colored progressive matrices, but standard progressive matrices can be used for school age children for greater than 10 years. It is a cultural free test of intelligent performances and score is given as PQ. Next is Weschler's Intelligence Scale for Children, 4th edition uh, uh, by Weschler in 2003. It is used for 6 to 16 years and 11 months of age. It contains both verbal and performance items. And here, there will be the combination of all scores and all domains is made into standard score and which is given in the manual. And then from that, full scale IQ is calculated. So, full scale IQ will be getting in the, in the Weschler's Intelligence Scale for Children. Next is Malin's Intelligence Scale for Indian Children. Here, the Malin in 1973 adapted the original scale of Weschler's Intelligence Scale for Children and made Malin's Intelligence Scale for Indian Children. This is also like Weschler's Intelligence Scale. This is also for 6 to 16 uh, years of age. This also has verbal and performance tests. And here, they will be, we will get verbal IQ, performance IQ and also F full scale IQ will get. Next is Bartier's battery for battery, uh, Bartier's battery uh, of performance test of intelligence. This is for, uh, this is for 11 years to 16.6 years, but 11 years to uh, uh, greater than 11 years also people uh, will use for uh, Bartier's battery. That is adulthood also we, uh, a Bartier can be used. Uh, and but the point is that the, the, it measures only IQ above 70. So hence it is not suitable for use with suspective case of ID. For adults, as we have already told, since uh, it can be used for 11 years and above, this also can be used uh, for adult uh, uh, pay, uh, individuals also. So, Bartier's battery of performance test of intelligence uh, can be used for uh, adults first test. Next is Weschler's adult intelligence scale, which can be used for 16 to 85 years of age, which is a full scale IQ. Here, we can get percentile for each subtest of Weschler's adult intelligence scale and also can be used for neuropsychological assessment also. Other tests which can be used for adult include Binet Kama test, standard progressive matrices, which because it can be used for greater than 10 years. So it can be used both for standard progressive matrices can be used for uh, school age children and uh, and adults. And the other tests to be considered for adults and adolescents of above in which we are suspecting uh, uh, above average intelligence, which we can use Ra Raven's progressive matrices that to advance uh, 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 Raven's advanced progressive matrices can be used, which consists of 48 items. Uh, can be used and Bartier's battery of performance is also can be used and Binet Kama test also can be used. And briefly regarding if there is we are suspecting a disability in the patient in case of ID alone, uh, ID and uh, uh, visual impairment we can use BKT and also verbal scales of MISIC can be used and ID and hearing impairment uh, we can use uh, uh, we can use uh, performance scales of MISIC and also uh, but here in case of hearing impairment BKT cannot be used because of high loading of verbal and language items and case of Cerebral palsy, BKT can be used and also perform uh, verbal scales of MISI can be used and in all these cases of uh, disabilities for adaptive behavior VSMS can be used. Moving on to general behavior rating scales uh, for people with uh, uh, intellectual disability include aberrant behavior checklist, developmental behavior checklist, behavior problem inventory and other scales including psychiatric assessment schedule for adults with developmental disability, psychopathology inventory for mentally retarded adults and psychiatric instruments for the intellectually disabled adults moving on to recommendations on the management the as uh, 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 
in india the recommendation of the management include parent counseling treatment of the underlying disorder whenever uh, wherever possible early intervention in children who are at risk and those who already have developmental delay management of comorbid psychiatric and medical problems individualized training program for the child based on assets and liabilities in the child family environment parent training for home based management referrals for special education physio occupational therapy speech therapy vocational training and parental organization discussion about parental concerns such as social security guardianship nnarki marriage etc and providing appropriate guidance helping parents to assess social welfare benefits etc and checking about the need for genetic counseling and offering appropriate help an overview of individual family and community level interactions can be broadly classified into individual level family level and community level in individual level comes medical intervention sensory motor and cognitive stimulation speech and language therapy physiotherapy and occupational therapy self help and social skills training education which include uh, uh, by, uh, by education includes in the normal stream of special education pre vocational training and vocational training and job placement in case of family domain parental counseling which include for uh, for alleviation of stress and enhancing coping and adaptation parent training for home based intervention family networking uh, in case of parental association and helping uh, thereby helping families to assess community and governmental resources and benefits in community level legislation policies and programs which we'll be discussing later social security benefits to individuals and families also comes moving on to next uh, way of uh, domain uh, in management is medical intervention that is diagnose and treatment of treatable un underlying disorders including hypothyroidism and phenylketonuria like uh, condition should be treated diagnose and treatment of morbid medical and psychiatric uh, problems including epilepsy uh, hearing impairment adhd under nutrition feeding and sleeping problem genetic counseling including high skill uh, which is a high skill medical intervention requiring a close collaboration between clinician genetics and other specialists moving on to psychosocial management of id it uh, mainly it depends on the child's age degree of id and the assets and liabilities in the child in the younger children the focus is only on sensory motor cognitive stimulation physio occupational therapy and speech language therapy the methods include first the uh, therapist will be drawing the child set tension by introducing an activity and varying the stimulus characteristics which is given by the which is being given by the therapist he will keep on varying the stimulus till the child starts reciprocating and then at that time uh, 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 the therapist will respond back by animatedly repeating the activity again and again and thereby he will establish a connection uh, a connection and there will be there that this is called as an interaction cycle and the once that uh, interaction cycle is established he'll move on to another interaction cycle later by these uh, uh, the basic daily routines like bathing and dressing actually will be uh, uh, integrated into the cycle these cycles so this is the first concept second concept is multi sensory stimulation uh, that is done by the therapist and other areas concerned covered for the early intervention include uh, developmental domains like gross motor fine motor early social early cognitive and conceptual development and, but these are all for younger children but for older children they require mainly self help social skills training education pre vocational training and here the their behaviors will be modified uh, behavior modification techniques are uh, important they are, they are extremely effective for training uh, to build new skills and to eliminate inappropriate, inappropriate and excessive behaviors behaviors that modification behavior modification techniques for building new skills include first one is that of goal specification there about here the therapist will uh, the, here the specified there will be a specified description of the desired behavior to be learned based on the current skills levels and needs task analysis is the second one there here the breaking there will be the activity will be broken down into sequential steps and the number of steps depends on child's learning uh, uh, capacity and rewarding that is uh, pleasant events following given by can be material or social should be immediately uh, should be rewarded and uh, should be immediate consistent appropriate and contingent and modeling that is showing how or demonstrating so that the child imitate and learn that is modeling uh, the other uh, include shaping that is successive approximation to final task, task that is teaching the simplified version of the total task and gradually increasing the complexity that is successive approximation is done in case of shaping chaining that that is a breaking the task into small steps and teaching from one after the other back chaining that is teaching the last step first and then going backward forward chaining teaching the first step and then uh, teaching the first step first prompting that is assessing the child verbally or physically and gradually fading the assistance next regarding the uh, techniques for eliminating order problem behavior including disregarding that is ignoring the behavior but continuing attention to the child ignoring that is ignoring both the child and behavior redirecting that is catching the child just as an odd behavior is beginning and guiding to child towards an appropriate behavior limit setting that is clearly communicating what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior to child and enforcing these 
blocking that is preventing the behavior from being completed the example is case of aggression gradual guidance that is waiting for the child to stop resisting physically and then guiding towards completion time out that is removal of attention and reinforcement contingent upon occurrence of a specified maladaptive or undesired behavior differential reinforcement of other behavior that is noticing and rewarding the child while he or she showed desirable behavior or when undesirable behavior is absent that is catching the child being good uh, uh, and praising them over correction that is child has to not only restore but do something more to set right whatever damage or disturbance that has occurred as a result of undesirable undesirable behavior and response causes withholding a privilege that child enjoys contingent upon the occurrence of undesirable behavior next regarding family focus intervention in id in includes parental counseling and parental training the steps include uh, development of a working relationship exploring family situations physical and mental health of family members reaction stress awareness attitudes etc should be probed social support also should be probed provide meaningful information regarding the nature of the problem clearing misconception nature of the intervention that work also uh, should be probed providing emotional support is another step enhance coping in enhancement of uh, coping strategies the correct uh, maladaptive parenting should be uh, probed for which include over protection rejection and inconsistent discipline disciplining training skill should be imparted which we have already discussed that is for home based training program including stimulation self help training skills regarding prevention 25 to 30% of mr is potentially preventable by public health measures improving the by improving the nutrition status access to medical facilities and good pre and perinatal care broadly divided into three that is primary that is preventing the occurrence of retardation secondary that is halting disease progression tertiary that is preventing complications and maximization of functions primary prevention broadly divided into health promotion and specific protection in health promotion health education especially for adolescent girls improvement of nutritional status in community optimum health care facilities and improvement in pre peri and postnatal care uh, are targeted in specific protection universal iodization rubella immunization folic acid administration prevention of teratogen ex uh, exposure prenatal ultrasound screening uh, genetic counseling and prenatal diagnosis detection and care for high risk pregnancies prevention of rsi iso immunization and universal immunization for children all comes in secondary prevention that is uh, halting of disease progression in that neonatal screening for treatable diagnosis uh, disorders can be done intervention with at risk babies can be done and early detection and intervention of developmental delay also can be done in tertiary prevention that is preventing the complication and maximization of function here this uh, will target disability limitation and rehabilitation here comes stimulation training and education vocational opportunities uh, mainstreaming and integration of the uh, individuals support for families and parental self help groups moving on to summary of pharmacological treatment in case of hyperactivity and adhd symptoms methylphenidate immediate release is tried starting with 5 to 10 mg and increments of 5 to 10 mg per week maximum of 2.1 mg per kilogram side effects include tics insomnia and anorexia respironone especially in the presence of aggression and irritability uh, 0.1 to 0.5 mg per kilogram in 2 to 3 divided dose uh, can be given excessive somnolence somnolence hypotension and ep is a side effects clonidine also can be tried uh, is beneficial in case of hyperactivity and adhd in case of aggression self injurious behaviors and irritability respironone in the uh, ranging of 0.5 to range of 0.5 to 2 mg can be tried clonidine can be tried that is for uh, aggression self injury behavior irritability clonidine can uh, is beneficial starting with 0.25 mg for less than 20 kg and 0.5 mg for greater than 20 kg and 0.1 to 0.5 mg per kilogram in 2 3 divided doses uh, 2 to 3 divided doses is the target in case of stereotypy and restricted repetitive behavior and interest in case of uh, that respironone dose uh, can be used in the same dose which can be used for hyperactivity uh, adhd and fibrillation fluoxetine also can be tried uh, with 2.5 mg per kg up to 10 mg per kg uh, in case of uh, depression obsessionality anxiety sleep and uh, sleep disturbance ssri can be tried and melatonin can be uh, can also be tried in case of uh, the disorders moving on to disability assessment as per the rights of person with disability act 2016 three stages are there screening diagnosis and disability calculation minimum age for certification is one completed year children above one year and up to age of 5 years shall be given a certificate uh, but they will be given a diagnosis of global developmental delay only but children above the age of 5 years can be given a diagnosis and certificate as intellectual disability 
the head of the they should be head of the medical board and which can uh, which can be medical superintendent or chief medical officer or civil surgeon or any other equivalent authority as notified by the government uh, state government and the authority comprised of this head of the medical board is one member pediatrician or pediatric neurologist were available or psychiatrist uh, but in case of uh, uh, children in case of greater than 18 years psychiatrist or a physician should be there that is the second member third member is a clinical or rehabilitation psychologist and fourth one the psychiatrist another psychiatrist should be there temporary certificate can be issued for less than 5 years uh, for children less than 5 years and mac varied for 3 to 5 3 or 5 years of age whichever is earlier children greater than 5 years the certificate will mention when to new, uh, renew like it has to be renewed at 8, 5 years 10 years and 18 years and certificate issued as 18 years is valid lifelong moving on to the last part of the uh, seminar that is government policies and programs in 1995 uh, uh, the act came uh, as persons with disabilities act came into force um, uh, it shows supports for it gives supports for prevention early detection education employment and other facilities and social security benefits the goal is for equalization of opportunities of intellectually disabled uh, population so various social measure, um, uh, security measures include disability pension family pension scholarship for special education travel concession income tax relief and special insurance policies and percentage of disability include for mild 50 percentage moderate 75 percentage severe 90 percentage uh, and profound 100 percentage then in 1999 national trust for welfare of persons with autism cerebral palsy mental retardation and multiple disabilities act this is to enable and empower in, uh, individuals to live independently here they involve parents of individuals with id and voluntary uh, organization setting and running a variety of services with government funding notable initiatives include caregiver training programs for home-based intervention addressing guardianship issues Supporting initiatives by NGOs for respite and residential care facilities and providing health insurance and early intervention programs. Next is national policy for persons with disabilities. Here they uh, recognize persons with disabilities uh, as a valuable uh, resource, human resource of the country and seeks to create an environment that provides them with equal opportunities, protection of their right and full participation in the society. Here they provide a blueprint for prevention, early detection and intervention counseling medical rehabilitation economic rehabilitation self employment and so on in 1992 came rehabilitation council of india act for development and regulation of the human resource for providing rehabilitation services regarding child guidance clinics and mental retardation clinics mostly they often function they they are often attached to major hospitals and centers their works include evaluation parent counseling and training medical management and referral services they provide speech therapy physiotherapy and occupational therapy Next regarding Sarva Siksha Abhayan, this the aim is to provide educational opportunities for all children between 6 and 14 years. They have a zero rejection policy that is every child will be provided education regardless of type and extent of disability either in the regular schools or an inclusion or as an inclusion basis or at home. Next regarding family focused intervention, this is to strengthen and empower families, elevate their distress and improve their competence for home based training. Examples include Nimhan's model of hospital based brief intervention family intervention and the velour model of three months residential family intervention community based rehabilitation program funded by ngos and government organizations are other programs and parental organization which include an umbrella organization called uh, 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 I mean, uh, two, uh, 200 parent associations have all formed an umbrella organization called parivar national confederation confederation of parental organization so which comes under parental association Human resource development for which with this goals in mind uh, they have uh, government of India has established National Institute of Mentally Handicapped in 1984 for, uh, and to, they promote community awareness develop models of care and undertake research documentation service delivery other programs include district disability rehabilitation centers integrated education for the dis, uh, education for the disabled national program for rehabilitation of persons with disabilities national handicap finance development corporation moving on to the rehabilitation centers functioning for intellectual disability based in chennai uh, in the department for welfare of differently differently able person department they have implemented a scheme in which they the concept is to develop early intervention centers for mentally retarded uh, children uh, in the range of 0 to 6 years accordingly they have made uh, the, uh, because of this early intervention centers came into uh, function uh, the government aided early intervention centers in Kanjipuram includes Vidya Prakasham early intervention center for intellectually challenged children for 0 to 6 years and Palliagra Mudayam early intervention center for intellectually challenged children is another government aided intervention center in functioning in Kanjipuram other early intervention center include Madhuram Narayan center 
Tinaga, Hope Care and Protection Center for Mentally Retarded Children, Pathway Center for Rehabilitation and Education of Mentally Retarded. In these are all uh, non-government organizations. So these are regarding early intervention center. Now regarding government special school and institution that uh, 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 for intellectual uh, dis uh, disability. Government Institute for Intellectual Disability functioning in Thambaram uh, is one among them. Uh, they supply, uh, they provide free hostel and vocational training for the uh, 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 for the inmates and uh, uh, many non-governmental special schools for intellectual disability and vocal centers are there. 23 schools are there in total in Chennai. Next regarding government aided adult intellectually uh, for adult population uh, for with intellectual disability able to, uh, next uh, regarding the home with uh, with function as home uh, with vocational training which include first one that is for females greater than 14 years that is little hearts Chennai, which uh, which is a residential care with vocational training for adult mentally aged females greater than 14 years next for greater than 16 year old boys that is Sabin Pathway Home for Persons with Intellectual Disability and Associated Conditions in Kanjipuram where vocational training also will be provided. Adult home for severely, uh, next is regarding for severely affected differently able person. That is adult home for intellectual and severely affected differently able persons and vocational training center. Uh, three are functioning in Kanjipuram which include Prema Vasan, Asha Niketan and Missionary for Charity Home for Intellectual Disabled. And also uh, uh, because uh, with the Sarva Shiksha Abhyan uh, special schools are also uh, uh, function uh, which they which will provide early which will also function as uh, early intervention center. And total of 18 schools are there, special schools are there. Other rehabilitation centers in Chennai include one which is established by Government of India under Ministry of Law, Labor and Employment that is Rehabilitation Center for Differently Abled uh, Chennai is there. Next is uh, Mitra Rehabilitation Center which is an NGO which is functioning very well uh, place in uh, Ananagar. Navajudi Trust Institute of Mental Retardation Chennai for Rehabilitation of Adults and Adults is there in Chennai. And and another uh, abbreviated as RV that is called as Association for Rehabilitation of Village and Impairment. This is a trust which has many special schools under them for intellectual disability, with, uh, intellectual disability with hostel facility, early intervention center, in early intervention, um, uh, 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 cent or they will also function as early intervention center, uh, pre-vocational training they will give, community based rehabilitation programs also they will provide. Uh, thank you. Uh, reference include uh, Kaplan Seda's comprehensive textbook, Kaplan Seda's synopsis, clinical practice guidelines for